In this video, we're going to take a look at Inventor 2011 Drawing Enhancements. First off, one thing to mention about the enhancements to 2011 are mostly the same enhancements that were included in the 2010 Inventor Subscription Bonus Pack, or Advantage Pack. We'll start off with the Multi-View Create, as well as the Architectural Scales. So you can type in an architectural scale, and it will recognize that now. But notice there is not a default in the scale list. We'll see how to add that later. We also have this little radio button that allows us to choose multiple view creations as we place the first base view. So I'll place the base view, get my projections automatically without having to start another command. And as you can see, I do have my view label there. Up next, we'll talk about the enhancements for dimensioning. We have chain and chain set. I'll show you chain set first and tell you why I don't like it. Here we can go ahead and choose our edges. Then continue and create the set. The disadvantage here is when you have values that are too close together, you can't necessarily pull that out with just your default settings. So instead I'll undo that and just do chain dimensioning. Choose my first dimension. Create that. Then additional. And these are now separable. So let's take a look at how we add those architectural scales as a default. This is done in the Styles and Standards Editor. If we go to our Active Standard, in this case we'll look at ANSI, on the General tab, and in Preset Values there is a pull down here. We have to go in here and grab Scale, and we go and say New and add whatever architectural scale we would like. In this case we'll do 1 inch equals a foot. Now if we were to create a new base view, in the scale list you can now have 1 inch equals a foot as a default. Let's close this up and take a look at a few more enhancements. This next one is one of my favorites. This is the drawing model replacement for the reference. So we've all been here before where we have similar designs. I have 90 degree fitting, 90 degree fitting number 2. You know, perhaps I did a Windows copy on those files, and I need to have 90 degree fitting 2 have some different geometry. As you can see, I've already done that. But the drawing does not reference it. So I'll pick on the view, go to the Manage tab, click on Replace Model Reference. You can see it's still referencing the first 90 degree fitting. Go in and point that towards the new 90 degree fitting. Approve my changes, and say OK. This only works file for file, so you can only do IPT for IPT, not IPT for IAM. Lastly, one of the nice enhancements here is involving the hatching. Now, you can also do hatch clipping now. That is another new enhancement. But what I really like to show here is the fact that you can actually bring in a AutoCAD hatch pattern. So let me create a new custom local style. And for the pattern, instead of a predefined one, I'll choose Other. As you can see, there is quite a few in here to begin with, but I want one that was created from AutoCAD in a PAT file. So I'll go over and hit Load. Here I have a loaded sample PAT file already, but if that one wasn't the correct one, I can go Browse for one. There's my sample hash pattern. That's the one I want, and I now have a custom AutoCAD loaded hatch pattern. The last enhancement here to talk about is bringing in AutoCAD blocks. Now this is an IDW so the import AutoCAD block option is grayed out. So let me just save this as an inventor DWG file. 
and now I'll be able to perform that command. So this has to be done inside of Inventor Drawing Files, DWGs. As you go through and look for source files that may contain blocks that you want, it is very similar to how Design Center is set up inside of AutoCAD. One thing to remember about this is the blocks you bring in cannot be made static. They are always going to be dynamically modifiable in size. So if you have something that's a unique size and always has to be that size, it's perhaps better created as a sketch symbol, which can be created as a static item.